God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for your word. I thank you, God, for the grand design. I thank you, God, for you are God of our lives. So you show up and show out in our lives every day, God. You never miss a day, God, with us, God. You inhabit the praises of your people, God. I thank you for the inhabitants, God. I thank you, God, that when I'm in the midst of my burning, fiery furnace, God, you are there, God. Uh -huh. Yes, God, whether I'm Shadrach, Meshach, or Abednego, doesn't matter, God. You are there, God. You meet me. You meet me in the fiery furnace, God. Hallelujah. It only takes the praises. Hallelujah. The saints, God, when the praises go up, the blessings always come down. What is my one and only blessing? What is my one and only miracle? What is my... It says, try me now in this. Says the Lord of all. If I would open up the windows of heaven and pour you out one blessing. Whether my one is my brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but there's one thing I do. Uh, forget those things that are behind me and look at what lies ahead. I must press uh, toward the mark of the prize that I calling to get the one thing that I desire of the Lord. The Psalm 27 verse 4 that I may that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and the choir in his temple. What if my one is what he is, uh, identifies as all things. What if my one is what he says is all things. We say all things. I want all things. I want you cars, houses, boats, diamonds, furs, like that. We want all things. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. But what if all these things is all wrapped up in one thing? But he said, lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves don't break in and steal. You got that one thing. All you need is one thing. Hallelujah. Give me the one. Give me the one. Give me the one. Give me the three in one. Give me the trinity in one. Give me the Three and one, never hey, God glory. It's not easy being cheesy. Jamie, real cheesy right now. Hallelujah, God. Because I need one God. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. I need one God. One more chance. I live into my second thousand, my two thousand billion, hundred thousand million billion. Right here, second chance. I need one. I need one. I need one. I need one. Give me some, give me some, give me one. Hallelujah. And so we thank you, God, for being the one that we need. We thank you, God, for opening doors. You see, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. Teaching us how to one, one for the one. For the waste is not given to the swift nor the strong. But to him that endured the till the end, keep us running on course, God. Keep us on the way, staying on the way and not slipping off to the wayside. I need one, I need one, God. I need one guide that's God. I need one guide that's the word of God. I need a one to care about. I need a one. Give me one. Give me some. Give me one. Hallelujah. So thank you, God, for it. In Jesus' name, so be 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 it. In Jesus' name, it is so. In Jesus' name, it is so. In Jesus' name, it is so. In Jesus' name. Yes, God. Sometimes I think that I should say. It's not saying it is so, I should say it's slow. Some say it's S S O, so it is S L O W. Sometimes I think God, uh, He moved too slow. I need a blessing, I need a miracle. Yeah, the God said this is work, Jamie. Yeah, but God don't move quick enough. I, I have, we have not ever said that, but some of us have thought it. I know it. I believed it. At one time, I said, I come God moved too slow. I'm gonna make this happen for myself. And whatever. And the thing is, what I realized, and whatever, as a kid, that when I, when I, that uh, the very thing that I needed was what I thought I needed. So it wasn't that I was wrong about what I was asking for. Is that about I asked for it and then put a time stamp on it that God was not cool with. For a time, right, temperance, uh, and then a temperance lies in wisdom, right? As, 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 uh, as uh, yeah, has no li wisdom, ask God for he gives it liberally. So we must meet the God that gives it liberally. For everything that we need, we must meet with the God blah, 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 that gives it. And blah, 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 blah. Now the first time we meet him, we might meet him at the terebinth tree. 
right outside the tent. It was convenient for Abraham to look outside. Oh, there's Jesus and the two angels, right? right? And, uh, it was very convenient for Abraham to meet them uh, uh, at the tent, which was right outside his, uh, 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 at the tent, which was right outside the tree, or at the tree, which was right outside the tent, right? But I'm learning as I go on in life that God will not meet me at the same place all the time. He has a way of, uh, of changing up his style. He has a way of, uh, okay, this time, uh, since you're coming back again, this time, that uh, I gave it to you before, this time, since you lost it, you got to come back for it again, uh, this time, I'm going to make you jump over the, uh, uh, run through the woods and then run past the hair and jump over the tortoise and come back to mine, and then I'm going to teach you a little bit lesson because you got to run around the mountain a couple of times. This time, this time. This time, I asked God for wisdom, and I said, God said, I said, God, you said you could give me wisdom, right, to understand the timing, right, to understand how you work with time. God, but even though I understand now how you work with time, I still do not understand why this time is like, it's unlike well, the time before. It's unlike the time before that. It's about this time indicates what will now become a time and time again. This time. This time is not uh, what, uh, not about what uh, I am asking for. Because the last time it was about what I was asking for. And how quick you could get it to me. You are trying to satiate me right here. Because I'm like a baby, right? I'm on milk. Uh, the other time, right? Last time. You trying to help me here. Last time. But this time. There's a lesson involved in it. This time, the lesson is the blessing in it. This time, uh, you know, as I told you to get with the reason for the season. This time, about uh, hallelujah, welcome to get some knee sun for the reason for the season. This time, get on your knee sun. This time, you gotta find me. This time, I found you the last time. Uh, tag your it. God said you gotta do something for it. Uh, this time, tag your it. <laughs> You have to read your word. This time, tag your it. You have to pray. This time, hey God, tag your it. This time, God said, I loved you before. This time, God said, I loved you outside of. This time, God said, I loved you inside of. This time, God said, I loved you in Kairos. That time, God said, I loved you in Kronos. This time, God said, I loved you chronologically. This time, God said, I love you all up and down the calendar. All day long, about 25 days, 7 days a week. I'm like 7 11, I don't close. So, I have, and so 7 11 does close and sometimes for winter times, uh, snow times, blizzard times. When they do close, about, you can meet me because I still love you. That time. How about God? How about hey God? It's no longer about what you need, but when you need it. It's no longer about how I want to keep you, how to keep you pacified on the shoulder, swaddling, swaddling, pacified, right? Keep the pacifier in your mouth. It's no longer about that. What it is about is a lesson with it. Before it was about the what, how we get what. When the baby is crying, you have to do check three things the pamper, the mouth, and the burping, right? Hallelujah. When you grow along a baby, you have cut teeth, right? So it's no longer about the what you need, but it's about the when. Can I hold this thing back from you a little bit? Can I make this thing a little bit inconvenient? Can I make this thing a little bit inconvenient? Can I make the wait a little bit inconvenient? Can I make you wait a little bit for it? Can I make the wait just a little bit inconvenient? This time. God said meet me and be timely with it. God said, meet me and be timely with it. Be in time with it. Step in time with it. Don't make me wait for it. Don't make me wait for it. Don't make me wait to give you it. And where I got, I got a gift for you. I got to get something to give to you. Don't make me wait to give it to you. Why? Because the blessings of the Lord make it rich. And one blessing, I found out grace encompasses many gifts. And one blessing brings many things. Hallelujah for the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. For the fruit. Of the spirit it is. Uh, I was telling Miss Linda about a year ago, and I said, Yeah, Miss Linda, I'm gonna give these one of the fruits of the spirit. She said, One of the who? I said, One of the fruits. This is what she's um, therapizing me. I said, One of the fruits. She said, No, 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 no. Open that book and read right there. Open that. For the fruit. Of the spirit is love, joy, peace, temperance, gentleness, goodness, meekness, kindness, faith, and I think faith is self control. 
It's nine of them, uh, for the fruit of the Spirit is. Uh, therefore, if I get one fruit and from him, uh, I leave him shouting, thank you, Jesus. Uh, why? Because uh, by kind of, uh, I got all the fruit I need. Uh, I'm Jamie, so I like to make smoothies, right? Uh, and the smoothie I got in the refrigerator has, uh, it has this one-third spinach. Uh, I think I put some pickle in there. I might not have. Uh, peaches, strawberries, raspberry, I think. Blueberry, I put some broccoli in there. I put some stir fried vegetables in there. Maybe some onion. You know, I mean, that's my smoothie, right? And come on, tastes like ice cream. I tell y'all, I promise y'all. Like, y'all don't believe me. I, I, I promise y'all. Give me, I get a jolt from it every time I drink it. It's like, that's like, I like it because it's like the fruit of the spirit, right? But I, I don't need to go and get a whole bunch of fruit to say I don't need a, a pear or apple. I'm I've watched the scrubs right here. And, and JD is off his hizzy, right? Because he went to the basket of, of, of muffins, right? <laughs> he said he used to have uh, fruit there, but when they took, when, when he went to the basket, they started getting tired of the way he treated it. You know, when you, when you see him go to the basket, you find out why. Because they, they got, they say, now nah, I got a basket of muffins. So this boy, and he sped it up for the, like time lapse there. This boy took, there was like 24 muffins there. He took a bite out of every muffin. <laughs> he tried to experience every muffin in this detail. Remember how he experienced it. Except when you got a bite, a piece off of every muffin. He shoved it all in his mouth. So when the person came up to him and asked him what he was doing, the nurse crawler came to ask him what he was doing. He turned around and looked like a chipmunk, right? And then I had to chew real fast and swallow. Don't tell me if you put a uh, bite of a, a chocolate chip muffin in there with pe- uh, poppy seed, with lemon poppy seed, with a uh, uh, glazed donut flavor, with all that. Don't tell me all those uh, flavor combinations still are detectable within your mouth. Uh, you got 24 different uh, opinions inside your mouth. You got 24 different uh, blah, blah, muffins inside your mouth. You got 24 different, we talked about yesterday how the muffin can be the comfortability factor blah, 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 when I don't have the comfort term. You got 24 different uh, blah, blah, opinions. You got 24 different uh, onions. You got 24 different thoughts. You got 24 different disjointed thoughts. There's no way in the world I can have a conversation within my lips. There's no way in the world I can have a conversation in my mouth. If I got your my opinion right here on my tongue, I don't want your opinion on my uvula. If we don't have a conversation, right? There's no way in the world that I should have a difference of opinions in my mouth. Because I got the mind and the soul, right? Like A.A. Jacks, it says, out of abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And David had a whole thing for he compares, and most people compare the mind to the soul. David liked to compare the heart to the soul. So when he said, out of abundance of the heart, it's just like him saying, out of abundance of the soul, the mouth speaks. And what that means is, well, I can't have on my tongue my opinion and have on my uvula your opinion. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth has to speak. So I can't be you know, in agreement and disagreement with me at the same time. Now, do you understand that the double mindedness of this uh, nation? How do we do it? Right? Hallelujah. We're trusting in the grand, the great, 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 great muffin. Selah. I'm going to study the mouth. I should just study the mouth before. I'm in trouble for my mouth. Am I in trouble for my mouth because of the words I speak? Am I in trouble for my mouth because of the things I hear? No, but you're getting closer. Psalm 1914 says, let the words of my mouth, and I now know where it's located, I know the address of the scripture, right? Because of the fact that to me, I have been pointed there. The people don't realize they're pointing me there, and I've been pointed there so many times recently. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, to meditation of my heart, be acceptable in my sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Now that's the way David wrote it. I've been praying something different. Because when I pray it, I would say what David uh, said, and I add some Jamie flavor to it. I, I would add something on too. I want to let God know I'm serious about it. So I, so I said, let the words of 
my mouth and the meditations of my heart. Because realize, at the end of the day, I can't have your uh, your words in my mouth, right? I can't be speaking your words, right? And have my meditations in my heart. Because something's got to give. So at the end of the day, I got to eject your words, right? We have those people in our life, call themselves friends, that want us to agree with them on everything. They want to make me a yes man, right? And not making me a yes man. They want to pull the string on the back of me. And they want to pull the string. Yes, Carla, it's a pity. Yes, Carla, it's a pity. She is a plastic kettle. She is a plastic kettle. Yes, Carla, it's a pity. Yes, Carla, it's a pity. She is a plastic kettle. She is a plastic kettle. Come on. I'm not a marionette, though. Let go of my strings. Sometimes you make a mistake, right? You make a mistake, and what will happen is Tasha will do this. Tasha will do this. She will hold strings over your head for the rest of your life. <laughs> you know that you made that mistake when you was three? Remember that? Remember you had done that? Remember? Yes, Carla, it's so pretty. She is a plastic cat that call. She is a plastic cat that call. <laughs> Can what I'm saying be acceptable? Because the words of my mouth and the message of my heart must line up. Now, now that we are there, it must line up. I got rid of your words, right? I keep mine, right? So, but at the end of the day, now that they add up, right? Now we can really dive in a little bit deeper. How, how, ask me, or tell me this. How can the, 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 the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in God's sight? If I don't recognize him as my strength and my redeemer, both do it. Those, those, that's a dose, a dose penalty, right? Those pooper, those, 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 then they singles. That means 25, y'all. Don't pay me no mind. That's those. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Now the devil was able to do it exceedingly and abundantly. I know how to meet him, right? Effectually and fervently. If I'm not meet just meet him both effectually. I'm serious about this thing. I get on my knees and I pray in the when he tell me to pray. And then fervently and I meet him fervently and praying about what he wants me to pray. Because check this out. If I'm praying what he's telling me to pray for you, right? Some people say, oh no, I get on my knees, I gotta pray for myself. Then first, first, then I gotta pray for you. Cause this says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, so my strength, love your neighbor as yourself. You because if you pray for what God is telling you to pray for, God will take care of you. I'm a witness. I pray for people and I end up on the floor. And I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus, in a worship. I forget all about me. But somehow my need that I was asked, that I was going on my knees to ask about is no longer a need. But God found me out. It, it, it gets taken care of. It's not, it's not something that I have to worry about, right? But let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, words of my mouth and meditation of my heart, what God wants to do is change the mouth, right? And then go into the heart, right? He wants to change the mouth and then go into, uh, and then go into the heart. Why? I'm going to say why now because I had to sit there and think about it. <laughs> why? Jesus, not what um, comes out of the man that defiles him, but what goes in. If anything goes into me, it goes in through my mouth, right? Generally, it goes in through my mouth. If it goes into my system, the biggest uh, hole that I have in my face, that's why when they say shut up, they say shut your pie hole, right? Because your pie hole is what you eat pie with. You ain't eat pie with your eyeballs. Hopefully, you eat pie with your mouth, right? So that's the biggest hole on your face. So, blah, blah, blah. so and that's what words come out of, right? That's what uh, thoughts come out of, right? My, my soul has something to say about something. My soul loves Jesus. Yes, it comes out of my mouth. It's going come out of my ear, right? So here's the thing. Uh -huh. Let the words of my mouth uh, and the meditation meditation of my heart and the meditation of my heart because my heart is going to meditate on what I say before it gets accepted into my body yeah thought and I thought I think about it right and then it comes out 
of me again. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God just bless my whole system. Let the whole system have things happening. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God, I got a yodic regurgitation. And you knew my prayer from the beginning and a big hole in my heart. Hallelujah. That's just indicative of what's really going on natural for As a natural, so it is in spiritual. If they see it on the, the natural um, buzz feed, check this out. It's on the spiritual buzz feed too. Blah, blah, blah. I, my heart, my spiritual heart. I told y'all that when it happened. Uh, ch- chances are my spiritual heart is. I'm barfing too. My spiritual heart is barfing too. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable and exceptional. I make it, I give it a two for Mama Kala Baba. But then it takes it away from me, uh, trying to think about how I'm going to do it. It takes it away from me. I give it all over to Jesus Christ. And I say acceptable and exceptional. He's got it. He's going to take care of it. Hallelujah. Through tears all night long. Through tears all night long. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Through crying all night long. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Through problems, aches, pains, and fears. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Through tears, through tears, through tears, through tears. Through tears. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable and exceptional. <laughs>